Uh, it feels amazing. Uh, honestly, really, just to be back. It was it's been a long road, five months. I mean, every single day, just kind of just taking it step by step. But uh, when the doctors told me six months to a year, I gave him the fucking finger. Dude, I was about to say that. Like, it, it, it feels like a long time, but at the same time, like, seeing what your injury was and hearing about it, I feel like you recovered really quickly. Yeah, I think it was more than anything else. It's just I took it serious, just like a fight camp. Um, I haven't drank since February. I quit drinking. I completely turned my life around. I didn't feel sorry for myself not one fucking time, man. I went in there. I, I had my belt stripped. They took my pay cut. They did everything to me, man. But the one thing they didn't do is take my pride. And they couldn't take my smile from me. And I'm still fucking smiling. So I prepared really well for this fight. Anthony Pettis is a game opponent, but I'm a much more uh, more focused opponent in him. And uh, I think he's a cocky, arrogant dude that uh, needs to be humbled. I looked at the odds, not that the odds mean much, but you're a heavy favorite in this fight. Does Anthony Pettis have any shot to beat you? Absolutely. Any man can be beaten any given day. I believe that. But it depends on how you bounce back from those losses. Um, I've seen this guy's film. I've seen quit in his eyes. I know exactly how to pick him apart. He's a Taekwondo background, so am I. Unfortunately, we both have competed in this industry. Um, he said he did his homework on me. I was an up-and-coming fighter for the UFC, but in ultimate reality, he had his debut the same day I had my debut. So kiss my ass, Anthony Pettis. Your showtime, but your show's over. It's my time now. It's always been my time. Uh, Connor and Khabib, what are your thoughts on that fight uh, going on Saturday, Tony? Uh, battle of the bullshits. We got Tiramisu versus McNuggets. Both lost their sauce, and I got all the sauce. These guys have uh, talked their way up a big game, but apparently you got to throw a dolly. I threw a stool before. I mean, but I think, you know, honestly, I think I threw the stool further than his dolly. But, uh, you know, as far as Khabib is concerned, uh, I mean, shit, the dude ducked me. He's been ducking me, and so has Connor. Connor never says my name because he's got one thing on his mind. He says loss whenever he says my name. So when these guys go out there and they go out to perform, obviously they're going to put on a great show. Obviously everybody needs to buy the pay-per-view. It's going to be fucking hot. I just fucking love it. But double knockout. I see these motherfuckers knocking each other out. I just saw a highlight film. Some You see it all the time. The shit happens all the time, man. And, you know, I just see kind of just could be bush, rushing in like a bull. And I see Connor just throwing that straight left and just see, boom, just double knockout. I just see that shit.